For more than 25 years, the nonprofit Fisher House Foundation has provided free lodging for more than 300,000 families of patients receiving medical care at major VA and Department of Defense hospitals. More than 70 Fisher Houses across America allow families of service members and veterans to be close to their loved ones during a medical crisis to focus on what's important, the healing process. On any given night, up to 970 families could be staying at a Fisher House at no cost at all to them. And now, for the first time, two new Fisher Houses will be built right here in New York City. The new facilities will provide free temporary lodging to families of service members and veterans being treated at the Bronx VA. And these two new houses will be able to serve nearly 12,000 families a year, saving them around $3 million. Uh, we're very proud to welcome Ken Fisher, the chairman and CEO of the Fisher House Foundation, who has dedicated his career and his life, literally, to supporting military personnel and families while also serving as the co-managing partner at Fisher Brothers, one of New York and the country's most successful family-owned real estate development and management companies. Ken, it's a pleasure to have you here. With Thank us. you, Jack. You've, you and your family have had such extraordinary success, and it, it brings to mind the, the, the notion of, of doing well and doing good. You know, being in a position to do good. How did you first get focused on this idea? How did you come up with the idea of, here's what we need to do to help. We need to provide these housing for family members. Where did the idea come from? Well, it was founded by my late uncle, Zach Fisher, uh, back in around 1990, when this need was brought to his attention. And it's such a basic, underappreciated need. Where does a family stay uh, when their loved one is in the hospital? And, you know, these are families that can't afford hotel rooms for any length of time. So when this was brought to Zach's attention, Zach, being a developer, which is what we are, had access not only to contractors, but to architects. And you know what? Instead of sitting back and worrying about what the needs, how many unmet needs there are, Zach decided to become part of the solution. So he called up an architect. They designed the first few houses. And the idea took... And, you know, it's when you think about what sacrifices are being made every single day by these families, the ones that are serving, the ones who have served, these are sacrifices that we take for granted and really need to be honored. And that's why we work so hard at this. It's interesting because I know I've seen you talk about this, where we are certainly focusing on our veterans coming back and what they need. But as you just mentioned a minute ago, for whatever reason, not that we tend, we want to ignore the families, but you don't always think of, of their role, not just sort of being there, but in the healing process. The entire family serves, Jack, you know that. I mean, you've been, you've been around these issues for quite some time. The, the entire family serves. But you know what I always say about the program and how I describe it to people is, can you imagine yourself being in the hospital and not having your family there? Uh, and, you know, I would bet you that it would affect not only your physical healing, but your mental healing as well. It's not just the hospital, say. It's also when they're, when they're released, the rehabilitation and so forth. The family plays a role in that, too. And that's why there are Fisher Houses in multiple locations, because we've had families that have used two Fisher Houses. They've gone from uh, a DOD facility to a VA facility where there have been Fisher houses. So we've had families stay as long as a year, uh, you know, in combined houses because they've, they've gone from the healing process now to the rehabilitation process. And th one of the things that we, we've, we, we know for a fact is that these men and women now are living through catastrophic wounds that would have been fatal in, say, Vietnam, where the battlefield survival rate was almost 73%. Now it's almost 95% or higher. So these men and women are living through these horrific wounds. Uh, and what that means is longer hospital stays and then wrong, longer rehabilitation. So it's something that, that we've decided to focus on and, and really big. Let's talk about the Fisher Houses specifically. What do they look like? How are they designed? They are designed pretty much the same way on the interior because when you have a formula that works, you stick with it. We, there's common areas where the families can get together. Uh, and, and decompress, uh, share the joy of the good days, the sorrow of the bad. What's happened inside the houses is that a support system has formed. So they, when they come to a Fisher house, they're not giving up anything. And the homes are beautiful. I mean, you know, we 
a typical home like the two in the Bronx will cost us almost six million a piece to build because these are we want these these facilities these homes if you will to really be you know to really honor the sacrifices that these families have made and when they walk in it's always it's always a great thrill to see the look on their face wow I can stay here for free and you know it helps them that's where their healing begins Ken, you and, and your family and your company for many, many years, in addition to the, the Fisher House Foundation, you work with the Invictus Games and Trepid Museum, you have, have devoted a great deal. You have indeed been, I think, the epitome of doing well and then doing good for others. So we, we certainly thank you. I know the veterans thank you, and, and it's, it's marvelous work. And I, I hope we'll get back together and talk some more about some of your Love projects. Love to. Thank you again. Can you be thank well? Thank you. And for more information on the Fisher House Foundation, please log on to our website at metrofocus.org.